Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. to eat something. My insides are shriveled up with the hunger. going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalas. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scalas to spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Who else, Robert? Sir Antig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Dimish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? 
The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. It's a dark times. Move out! <laughs>